Hey there stampers, welcome back to the treasure chest. All right, in this week's memory keeping video, I'm going to share the details of this layout. Now I created this layout without filming a video oh, probably a month or two ago. Um, so I'm going to not recreate this video, but I'm going to create a second page of this video, um, of this layout. So a lot of the elements are gonna stay the same. I'm gonna do this border. I'm gonna have this pool party eight by eight piece, and I'm gonna have four squares here, except three of them will be for photos and one of them will be decor. Okay, so, and then I'll talk you through the details of this, but first I'm gonna share how I did this background bit. So you will need a piece of white cardstock and an eight by eight piece of pool party cardstock. Now you can do this larger. I chose eight by eight for two reasons. First of all, some of the images in this stamp set are a little larger, so I wanted to make sure that there was enough room to create a nice full border. And second of all, I wanted to be able to cut my mat out of an eight and a half by 11 instead of a 12 by 12. So I did eight by eight. That gives me enough room to do three and three quarter inch squares on here. Okay, so what you're, want, you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to make sure that this is centered. So I'm going to use, here, let's lift this up here. I'm gonna use this, this is eight by eight. So I should have two inches on either side and two inches on the bottom. So I'm going to use my quilting ruler so I can measure in two different directions. So I've got two inches here, I've got two inches here. This is centered. So I'm gonna hold that in place and I'm gonna slide this down and without moving, I'm just going to lightly trace around my cardstock. So this is going to give me an idea of where I need to do my stamping. Okay, so now I've got this light, nice light square. And my stamps are going to be partially inside, partially outside to create this border, all right? And then as far as colors go, I did not pull out all of my colors. Okay, so I used petal pink with this stamp. I used Calypso Coral with this stamp. I used Crush Curry with this one. And I used Lost Lagoon with this one. And you can see that some of them are first generation, some of them are second generation. So this one's first and second. And then I went in and I did little trios little dots of trios, trios of dots, kind of randomly here and there to fill in the space. Okay, so I'm gonna speed this up and um, you can watch me create this background and then I'll come back and explain the rest. Okay, so I'm just getting everything all ready to stamp. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp and you'll see I leave um, a little bit of space and I try not to make it so that it's, the same on all sides. Um, so not dark light, dark light, and maybe not as evenly spaced. Although once you put all the stamps in there, it's not going to be as noticeable. And some of them will be closer together than others. So just fill it in and it's okay to overlap as well. Remember that most of this is going to get covered over you'll only see a little bit peeking out. So for this one, I actually put some side by side. And then I filled in, so most of the space is filled in now. Now I'm just gonna bring in these lines and these are really, really subtle. You only see just a little bit peeking out. I remember most of those from, that are sticking through into the center will get covered over. So it's just for a little bit of added texture. Okay, so now I'm gonna adhere this pool party. I think actually, if you've been a treasure chest member, you may have seen me do this layout before. I think I did it with a beachy kind of um, set a number of years ago, but it's such a fun background to do. 
So now I'm just adding my trio of dots, just using my black Stampin' Write marker, just here and there. And they're, they're so subtle, but I just, I love the way that that looks. I think it just adds a little something. All right, so there's the background. Now I'm gonna bring in some mats for my photos. So these all measure three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So there's three Lost Lagoon pieces those are going to be the mats for my photos. And then there's a piece of DSP. And I, I use this one of the same patterned papers from the left-hand page. And I'm just going to adhere this. That is another way to tie in the two pages. And then I'm going to bring in that large floral image to tie in that flower from the left-hand page. So I just needed to grab some white cardstock and I'm going to ink this up using the sponge dauber. So Calypso Coral for the flowers and Lost Lagoon for the leaves and the stems. And then that will get fussy cut out. And so you'll want to stamp this three times if you're doing a two page spread. So I did it once here, but I have two on the left hand page that I'll talk about towards the end of this video. I had already stamped one of these so I just pulled it out cut it cut it out and then I'm going to bring it in. I want to put it on this DSP kind of here but I feel like it's too busy. It kind of gets lost so then I remembered I used vellum on the on top of the paper underneath the title on the left hand page so I went and grabbed a piece of vellum and I'm going to put a strip of vellum down so I think it's two by I don't know three and three quarters I think but first I'm going to add the bow which I have on the left hand page as well so I'm just using some Lost Lagoon ribbon to tie my bow that's going to get added to the flower and adding a little bit of multi-purpose glue to the base and then dimensionals to the flower and I just can't get it to look right. So this is where I grab the vellum. And then I'm going to stick the flower to the vellum and then that will allow me to strategically place my adhesive so that you can't see it in behind. And it's subtle, but it does mute it just a little bit. So I'll stick that down, then add a little bit of multi-purpose glue in behind and stick that over top. And then I'm going to trim that little bit that's hanging off the edge and use a couple mini glue dots to adhere my bow. And then the last thing that I'm going to do on this page is just add some of those gold adhesive back sequins. And then I come back and I chat you through the, um, the left hand page. Okay, so I know you can't see both of the layouts all together, but I will share a photo of both of them um, side by side so you can do a two page spread if you want. Okay, so back to this original layout. Here I've got a vellum circle because I found this pattern paper just a little bit too um, busy and the hello kind of got lost. So I muted it just a little bit using the largest uh, stylish shapes circle cut from vellum and then added the hello cut with the alpha bet alamo dies this is stamped using the alpha best stamp set in pool party and then i fussy cut these flowers so i stamped two of them for this page and then just one of them for this page so this is the whole one just as it is here and then here's the little flower that i added there and the bigger flower that i kind of tucked in behind here added some white twine and then a couple gold dots. This is this smaller flower. And then here added a bow and then some gold sequins. And then here I repeated that vellum over here to mute that background paper and then just mimicked this just with the two flowers but added the bow as well. And then three, three and 
three quarter inch photos will go in here, maybe slightly smaller so that you see a little bit of this color in behind. And you've got a very quick and easy but beautiful two page scrapbook layout. All right. So if this layout inspires you to create something similar, make sure that you head on over to the Treasure Chest Facebook group and share what you've created because we'd love to see it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.